The entirety of the pellicular establishment has worked itself into a right old lava over a statue toppling and graph on a couple of plimps in Whitehall. And now, with swifty and double irony, a law and order nationalist has been jailed for outraging public decency, having a gyp next to a police memorial during Saturday's confrontations. The government, Labour opposition are leapfrogging each other, proposing and agreeing that damage to war memorials could be punished by up to 10 years imprisonment. The barefaced brass neck of these scum politicians is something to behold, considering their crimes against humanity, the population of this country. Deportation of the Windrush generation, cover up abandonment of the Grenville Holocaust victims, but their most recent atrocity is a calculated negligence resulting in tens of thousands of fatalities to COVID-19 in care homes. Now, these criminals are blasting a law and order trumpet. These politicians, brimming with arrogance, dare to lecture us about our behaviour. But there's no way they will face any form of justice for their past, present and future crimes unless we overthrow this system before it destroys us piecemeal, picking us off one by one. But their game could be up due to the post-C19 social, economic, political chaos and upheaval. They have no ideas, it seems, apart from passing stupid draconian laws. Hopefully time will come when we start oiling tumbril wheels to dispense our own working-class justice. And let's face it, vengeance. Bye.